some technical difficulties. That was actually Stephanie's piece about uh, YISD not being in complete agreement with the decision to play. We do have the story on the hospitalizations and what that exactly means uh, for high school sports in El Paso for you right now. As the pandemic ravages El Paso, hospitals in the Sun City are beginning to overflow with 939 patients hospitalized with COVID-19 as of Friday morning. It's affecting um, the health of our of our people in many, many ways. One of the main problems with the hospitals being at 100% capacity is the effect it has on non-COVID emergencies, including car wrecks and sports injuries. El Paso ISD made the decision to suspend athletics for two weeks on Monday, and Athletic Director Maria Kennedy said the hospital space factored into the decision. That was even mentioned in, in, in our meeting on Monday was, you know, heaven forbid a kid gets hurt at a football game or wherever, cross country, whatever the case might be, and, and we don't have anywhere to send him. This week, the city of El Paso and the state of Texas made arrangements to expand hospital space. Tents have been set up outside some medical centers. The El Paso Convention Center has been converted into a hospital, and Beaumont Army Medical Hospital at Fort Bliss has been made available. Freestanding ERs around the city also have the capability to handle some emergencies. It will uh, it equally uh, alleviate that particular bottleneck. It will all be taken care of on an on a individual case basis and the necessary steps will be taken care of. For school districts like Isleta ISD that elected to move forward with athletics, their ability to test athletes weekly for the virus played a huge role in the decision. Superintendent Xavier De La Torre was also encouraged by the hospital expansions being made. Football can be a violent game, and uh, I appreciate knowing that uh, Fort Bliss is now involved and uh, may be available or likely will be available to take no non-COVID uh, related cases. Above all else, doctors want El Paso residents to know that regardless of the current hospitalization levels, if you need treatment, seek it out. They will not turn away any patients who come uh, to our um, facilities seeking for uh, medical attention. They will be screened, they will be taken care of, they will not be turned away by any means. I do, and I, good point he brought up. The freestanding ERs um, in El Paso can handle a lot of sports-related um, injuries that are, you know, on the minor level. But also, you know, very good of him to point out as well. Hospitals, regardless, they have contingency plans set up for anything, whether it's a heart attack, a sports injury, a car wreck. There are contingency plans in place. So again, if you are, if you do need to go, you can still go to the hospital. Yeah, so. definitely some good information there, Colin. When we return, we're handing out some game balls plus our 